What's going on, world? You were tuned in to the Saudi experience. Today, we're going to be discussing why it's important to speak clearly. And when I say clearly, I don't mean clearly. I mean directly. I mean speaking your truth. I mean interacting and conversating and not being passive aggressive. That's the topic today. All right, so what is it not to speak clearly? When you get mad at somebody or if somebody says something or you start thinking and you're not quite certain about something, we hold resentments. And when I'm holding a resentment on somebody and I'm not being direct with them, what's going to happen is I'm going to come at them sideways. And what I mean by come at them sideways is I'll be nice, I'll put a smile on my face, but mm, I'll throw little jabs, uh, little jab throughout the conversation. And then all that really is going to do is create more tension, more disconnect, right? But that's the way that a major percentage of the people that I've encountered along the journey speak because it's uncomfortable to tell the truth or it's uncomfortable to say, hey, you're making me feel this way or it's uncomfortable to say, you know what, like I took this as that. Let's talk about it. You know, explain to me really what went down here. What is this? What are we talking about? And move through that, right? That's a healthier way to do it, but it's a harder way to go. So what is the solution? How can we take this passive aggressive default setting subconscious way that we're used to living and how can we change that how can we learn how to communicate with one another in the moment when a situation arouses address it move through it and once you move through it the key to it is letting it go how do we do that the first step to actually doing that take a deep breath that's gonna get rid of the butterflies. That's gonna get rid of the short breathing up in your head. It's gonna get you in the moment. From there, you're gonna in a nice way say, listen, like when you say that, um, or that action you took, it made me feel this way. And this is why it made me feel that way. And I wanna ask you, like, what did you mean by that? What did that action mean? What did, what, did, what did your words mean when you just said that? Then you sit back and you listen. Don't interrupt. Listen. And then when it's your time to talk again, or if they're talking and you need to say, well, hold on one sec, you can redirect it and just make it clear. But listen to what they're saying. And then if when they're done talking, if you have something you need to say in return or you need to get a little bit more clarity, address that. It might take an hour to talk. But when the conversation and the disagreement or the confusion is over, you know what happens? The two parties are back in the middle. The two parties have addressed the situation. They feel safe and they're ready to move forward for whatever it may be. And you let it go. And then when the next situation arouses, you will do the same thing over and over again. And if you're dealing with somebody, you keep getting the same thing, same thing, same thing. Before you know it, maybe you just want to... Separate a little bit and keep it moving. But you always win when you're able to be direct. But remember, say what you mean, mean what you say, but don't say it mean. The only time we're getting mean is if we're being passive aggressive and holding on to some shit and it's coming out sideways. I hope you found value in this and I hope you can implement this in your next conversation, your next conflict, your next disagreement, your next confusion, whatever it may be. Your next conversation bring this peace to the table. Be the best you. You're tuned into the Saudi experience. Have a great day.